you knew I couldn't leave it at that. I know you knew that about me. I could not leave it at that. <laughs> Seven minutes later, and I still didn't say everything that I wanted to say. Typical. Typical on planet Tracy. So, um, you know what? Here's the thing about Paul. He could have blamed people for his situation. He could have blamed people for allowing him to be arrested, for arresting him. He could have blamed rulers for allowing him to be mistreated. Um, you know, he was a citizen in their country. He was in high standing, really, in their country. He could have blamed rulers, uh, you know, local government, larger government. He could have blamed his friends for not, you know, picking up the sword and fighting on his behalf. He could have straight up Paul, St. Paul from the Bible. He went through so much um, like persecution, so much getting beat up, so much uh, getting thrown around, so much being imprisoned, being in chains, on and on and on. He went through so much of that. And every one of those acts happened at someone's hand, you know, there was a human being putting those chains on him. There was a human being standing guard over him. There was a human being uh, uh, throwing him in prison, uh, throwing him in the dungeon. He could have blamed, man, a gazillion. I said that. He could have blamed a ton of individuals um, he could have blamed organizations. He could have blamed entire governments. He could have blamed an entire church. Here's my point. Um, did I mention he could have blamed God? He could have blamed God. He could have looked at his situation and said, this situation sucks. I'm in a dungeon. I'm of no good to anyone. I blame you, 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 and you, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna live to make you pay. He could have done that. Instead, he did what we talked about last time, and I, I'm re gonna read the verse to you again. Instead of blaming people, like that didn't even come into the picture. That wasn't even a part of his thinking. Instead of blaming people, he said, I want you to know, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me has helped to spread the good news. You know, how about it? Huh? How about if we would look at our negative situations with a positive light? How about if we would um, look at the things that, that seem to have stopped us? that seem to have cut us off at the knees, the things that seem to have stolen our life, stolen our world, stolen our happiness. Um, what about if we would look at those things in the light of their potential, their potential to touch other people's lives, in the light of those pains, potential to change us, in the light of who, how about this? In the light of who God is, he's God. He can do so much more than we could even ask or imagine, but we don't give him a chance because we sit around and say, I hate this person because they threw me in prison. I hate that person because they gave me crappy food when I was in prison. I hate that person because they're the one that pointed me out to the cop. I hate that person because they were the judge that put the gavel down and got me arrested and got me thrown in jail on and on and on and on when what we could be doing is focusing on wow God has me in prison what kind of miracle is he gonna do now um, and you know Paul didn't see a miracle in his lifetime he didn't see a miracle in his lifetime quite actually he was killed 
However, 2,000 years later, I'm using his words. I'm throwing them out there. Number one, they're in the Bible. And number two, they're encouraging you today. So I don't care where you are. I don't care what you're going through. And I don't care how it looks. And I don't care how mad you could be at the people who you think got you where you are. Woo! See you, glasses. Bottom line is this. Um, look at the positive. Look at the bright. Look at the plus. Look at God. What's he going to do now? Because it's going to be good. Have a great day.